a very good morning to everyone welcome to global online as you all are aware that we have already started with our uh, revision series for ugc nta net paper 1 december 2023 cycle and in this we are doing information and communication technology and in this information and communication technology today the topic which we have selected is input and output devices of the computer so we'll quickly see what all comes under input and what will comes under the output devices of a computer but before that uh, let me update you what is global online has to offer you all for so global online has brought a complete course for paper one which consists of your daily live lectures recorded sessions full syllabus notes uh, mock test as well as 60 plus mock test apart from this on every saturday we conduct a mock test of the existing or the ongoing unit which will help you to prepare yourself well better in order to uh, make sure that you know you are doing your examination well and you're cracking your examination without any uh without any much you know uh obviously with with a lot of efforts but without any uh hard i mean to say with us with a pattern series of preparation it will help you to crack the examination with the with a dedication so for this what you are supposed to do is you're supposed to download the global online app you have to register yourself on the registered mobile number once you registered yourself this is how the interface looks like the folders are on in the content you'll get the folders as per the uh, faculty members as per the unit unit title wise you will get the folders notes theory lectures evaluation test and mock test for mock test i already told that it is you know we have this mock test basically for your preparation the uh, on every saturday depending upon the topic which is going in that particular week now, uh, let's come to the input and output devices of the computer. So, we have two devices that is input devices and output devices. So, in input, we have mouse, we have keyboard, we have webcam, we have touch screen, we have joystick, microphone and optical pen. Whereas your output devices are in the form of monitor, speakers, printer, projector, headsets and plotter. So, let's little bit have idea about all these devices. Okay, so we'll be first uh, taking into consideration your input devices. That is in the form of, you know, uh, input output devices, both of them we will be seeing togetherly. So yes, keyboard, uh, now number of keys, when, once there was a question on number of keys also. So very common input devices, which helps, which has a set of buttons and it helps to enter the text numbers and symbols, general text entry, which is used for writing or, you know, with the commands or maybe numericals, then numeric keypad that is, uh, which is a part of your uh, keyboard itself so it's a pin pad or a pin entry device an electronic device which uh, this uh this keypad it means it is for specific purposes like here okay used in debit or credit card uh, transactions and which will definitely help the card holders personal ident which will encrypt the card holders personal identification number so this you have to Type your own PIN or, you know, personal number in order to exchange it with it for, for going ahead with the transaction. Mouse, so in computing, in computer, a pointer or a mouse, you know, is a graphical image on the computer monitor and a display device. So this pointer echoes the moment of the pointing device, commonly uh, called as what? A mouse or a touchpad. Okay, so the mouse is used as a pointer on the screen. Right. Then we have touchpad, a computer input device in the form of small panel, which is there, you know, on the uh, laptops, you can see different containing different uh, sensitive areas. So touchpad is a touchpad is instead of using a mouse is used in order to, you know, uh, with the help of your finger pointers. OK, now tracker ball. So tracker ball is that which is set is which is set as an holder and can be rotated by the hand in order to move, move the cursor on the computer screen so the tracker ball is a type of a mouse which is but it is used by the people that are unable to move their arms so this tracker ball uh, ball is basically used for this purpose 
we have graphics table. So an input device consisting of a flat pressure sensitive pad, which the user draws or points at a special, uh, you know, style in order to uh, guide a pointer displayed on the screen. So graphic type tables are basically uh, is a tablet that you are able to draw on. So something which you can, you know, you can draw on specifically, right? Now joystick or joy pad. So a game pad. We, we call also called as a game pad, also called a joy pad or control pad. It's a type of a game controller which is held in the hands where the fingers, you know, especially with the help of the fingers, you try to provide the input. So it's type of a remote used for gaming, uh, basically by the gamers, right? Light pen. So light pen is a pen, you know, uh, a, a hand handheld pen like photo sensitive device which has helped to display the screen of the computer terminal for passing the information of the computer a light pen is a pointer like which is used as a pen instead of your finger touch screen so it's a device which allows you to interact with the computer by touching your screens uh, so it is you the fingers have been used for that uh, instead of mouse or a pointer right then Output devices. So output devices, what, what we have under output devices, monitor. So monitor, which is commonly called as an output device in order to see what exactly the document you're working to make the changes to update the document. We have a thin film transitor or the liquid crystal display, uh, which helps the monitors, you know, uh, create less heat or less did not make the heat is not being created a lot. Laser printer, which is used in many workplaces because they are quite, they are, you know, they, they print a lot of sheets very quickly and the lasers produced high quality of documents. So, yes, later pr printers are photocopiers or the powder ink, which is called as toner, is used in order to, you know, uh, is fused on the paper by the heat and pressure in order to print the con content. Ink inkjet printer, so they are combined both black and white or color printing. These printers are used cartridges that contains, you know, the printing of the, which is printed on the paper. So color inkjet printers are ideal for the home use where the few documents needs to be printed and does not, you know, the quality is does not a very uh, high concern for this, right? Digital projectors, here's a projector which are connected to the computer in order to, you know, it is used for a classroom teaching or a training session or a presentation. So it is digital uh, projectors are fairly large in size technology. Uh, they have been, you know, uh, developed in order to have or uh, held the hands, handheld devices. They are basically the small handheld devices. Plotter, uh, so plotter is basically uh, they are special type of printer that the printers, you know, specially, uh, you, uh, the plotters are the high quality images, which the engineers, the architects use in order to plot. They, they are used to draw the plans of the buildings, diagrams, machines. So plotter is different uh, from a printer because it draws the images using pen. Okay. Speakers. So speakers, again, an external sound system, you can say, uh, which is fitted in the computer, which helps to... Uh, enable the sound to be an output through external speakers so the speakers produce higher quality sound than the uh, internal speakers right speakers also help the blind people the, to use the computers because the text cannot be converted into sound then we have headphones or earphones they are the speakers that are worn over on the ears uh, so that they can connect to the computer the headphones are like a speaker which is only heard by your own uh, so it is basically you are not disturbing the others or you are listening to the sound what you want it to go for. LED lights, they are used to, to they are, these lights can be used in to connect the computer, which is connected to the computer and respond to the electrical signals, which tells them to switch on or off. So it is basically a control simulation, which helps the evidence of working. So yes, all the students who are preparing for the examination and are looking for paper 2 material can get in contact with us. We do provide paper 2 material uh, in the form of notes as well as your MCQs. The, the subjects are listed on the screen. The fees cost is Rs. 1600 on which we have a 20% off. So it is 1280. You can just get in touch with on these contact numbers in order to avail the same. 
that's all thank you everyone see you in the next class